Hi, how you doing? My name is Firefighter Desco. I'm recording this video for Flow MSP, and we're going to be going over doing a basic strip mall pre-plan here. The first thing you want to do is log into the program, obviously. You'll get to your building or your address in the bottom right hand corner. You'll hit the plus sign, which will either give you the option of add hydrant or add pre-plan. You'll click on add the pre-plan. You'll get a little note on the bottom that'll say click on one of the corners of the building. And what you do is you just click on the corner, another corner, and then you get the whole building as, as best you can. Sometimes there's some things in the way or it won't let you do it exactly how you want to do it. And then you connect it. Once you get the whole thing connected, you hit save. And then at that point, you'll be able to enter in your business information. You can pick one business or you can just label it office. You know, whatever your department wants you to do, you can go ahead and label it that way. So for this, we're just gonna call it office building to make it easier. And then all your other information will go in there. You hit next. Then you have occupancy type. When you do that, you just click on the top and you can go through and whichever one goes with it. If it's education, high hazard, industrial, multifamily, any of those, whichever one fits whatever building you're doing. For this one, we'll pick business. Uh, construction type, if you know the construction type, definitely put that in there. Same thing with roof type. If you're able to know that information, that's great for especially mutual aid coming in so they have an idea. So you put that information in there as well. Uh, roof material. Uh, this building is sprinklered, so we can put that, you know, it's a wet system for this. If it's got standpipes, fire alarm system, you know, the type of population, if there's a lot, you know, if it's 500 to 1,000, uh, you know, 50 to 100, for example. And then another big thing is the hours of operation. If you do know the hours of operation, such as an office building, it might be 9 to 5. That way it makes the incoming companies know, hey, it's 7 o'clock, nobody should be there. You obviously still do your searches, but it just lessens your response possibly for depending on what your department does and if you have contact information that always helps if it's late at night and we need to get a hold of somebody put that information in there as well so that we can call a key holder say it's the middle of the night and you can't get in or there's an issue so that's always good information to have as well then at that point you're going to be able to add your photos you'll walk around the building take pictures of alpha bravo delta charlie you know all you and then you'll add in all of your gas knox box standpipe, so on and so forth, and we'll do that in the next part of this video.